It's important to learn to love the high D on the oboe, even if it can be challenging to play in tune and challenging to slur to. I disagree with a lot of fingering charts that suggest fingering half whole two three and just the low C key. That fingering comes out sharp for me, so I like adding right hand two. You'll hear the difference without it, with it. which matches the half hole D a little better. And slurring to it, it's important to relax. I see a lot of people leave left hand one up when they slur to it, which makes it sharp instead of you got and it risks a multiphonic. So to avoid that, I practice being comfortable slurring to half two, three, two, and C and then I don't fear high D so much. I hope that helps.